In our State of Addiction report, the effort to keep our beaches free of discarded syringes. Now volunteers are dedicated to cleaning them up every week in Santa Cruz County. Action News reporter Phil Gomez has more. We're not doing it for money. We're not doing it for fame. We're doing it because we're afraid that someone on two legs or four legs is going to get stuck with a needle, come to Santa Cruz and leave with a whole nother set of problems. And it's just not okay. Rachel Dean scours Seabright State Beach in Santa Cruz looking for sharps, needles that she believes wash up along the shoreline via the San Lorenzo River or have just been discarded there. Since she began in January, she's gathered quite a collection, as you can see by the photographs she's taken. Ground zero. This is where I would really just start looking around for orange and white. Orange and white being orange caps, white pusher on the syringe. And I do this back and forth. Three times a week, Rachel Dean walks the three quarter miles across Seabright Beach looking for sharps. She targets not only needles, but trash. And along the way, she's also making new friends. Because they'll tell you where things are at. Take Back Santa Cruz has one of the lengthiest tracking records, going back four and a half years with over 1,635 reports of needle incidents, totaling 14,620 actual needles removed from public spaces. We are doing this because we care about our community. We want to focus on what we can do to stop it from happening. One needle and a few caps were recovered at Seabright Beach on this day. One needle off the beach is productive. That's one less stick. Rachel takes what she's collected to what she calls her beach mobile and places them in an industrial sized sharp container. When it fills, she'll take it to a hospital for disposal. Until then, Rachel Dean will continue to walk the walk in her effort to keep the beaches free of needles. In Santa Cruz, Phil Gomez, KSBW Action News 8. A controversial bill that tries to take on heroin addiction by allowing so-called safe injection sites has won approval from two state Senate committees this month. It's now cleared for a vote by the Senate. It would allow facilities in several California counties, including Santa Cruz, to be supplied with needles, spoons, and rooms to allow heroin users to inject. The full Senate would like to vote on AB 186 after their return from recess August 21st. If it does pass, it would go back to the Assembly, then on to Governor Brown.